what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about jeepers creepers reborn again today jeepers creepers 4 and whether or not that movie will get delayed or if it'll still come out later this fall now this is just going to be based off of a tweet that the director timo had responded to coming from one of the fans asking about the status of the film's release i guess they felt the need to ask since of course we haven't gotten anything concrete official from anyone involved with this film since february of 2014 we've gotten interviews from timo on the official youtube channel for this movie but nothing really about the story things that i guess you guys and myself included would really care about the meat and potatoes of this stuff it's nice to know that people weren't affected by what's been going on but can we know who is in this movie you have nothing official you just have me and other people finding things and then we're all kind of just sticking together finding stuff that we're apparently not supposed to be finding because they don't want anything to be found out because the producers want to reveal all of this at some point i guess through an official press release through screen media who in and of itself isn't really doing much to hype up this film and i'll get to them in a second after i go over this tweet shout out to marquise for showing this to me and tagging me in it on twitter so shout out to you so someone asked is reborn coming out in the fall still he responded timo that being said the producers of the film know better know that better i have no clue myself now just to already make a comment any one of you like me who have reached out to timo you know he is very tight-lipped he tends to make these responses and he will point you in the direction of the producers i've tried to reach out to said producers they give no reply if any of you want to reach out to any of those producers you can go ahead and find them of course on the imdb page for the film you can look it up in the official a news that came out back in february from the outlets mentioning the producers names and try to contact them that way these people do not respond the other thing is him saying he has no clue himself i don't think i can recall not to say that it's this this isn't what happens but i've never seen a director so disconnected from what is going on with the film they directed no knock to Timo or anything like that at all. I'm excited to see what he has to bring to the table. But the lack of knowledge on what is even going on with this film on his end seems kind of absurd because you would think that he would have some knowledge of what's going on. But it seems as though all of this is in the hands of the producers, which is a question mark to me, too, because then I can't even ask that indicates that i probably can't even get an answer from screen media if i try to get an answer out of screen media and speaking of screen media like i said before i was going to get to them they recently had acquired rights to this megan fox film till death that's supposed to come out next month on like july 2nd i recently saw that this past week and i'll be having a review for that later on when the embargo lifts but they had acquired rights to that film in may dropped a trailer for it this month and the movie is coming out in a couple of weeks so going off of that and then other screen media projects how they've worked in the past we had that bella thorne movie girl which had like a it had its world premiere back at fantastic fest last year that movie got a trailer a poster and then it was just released there was no like full-fledged campaign or anything like that screen media from what i know of them and what i've seen of them do in the past with their movies they have not done that with any movie that they've put out now they had willie's wonderland that was supposed to go to theaters last year so that could have been a different topic but it got delayed because of what was going on in the world and then it ultimately came out this year so maybe that would have been a different situation that whole nicholas cage film maybe that would have been done differently i doubt it but knowing that trend that they have of dropping posters dropping news about when a film is coming out dropping a trailer like maybe a month or couple of weeks in advance at this point why should we expect anything less from jeepers creepers reborn jeepers creepers reborn if it's still coming out this fall should most likely have a trailer i'm going to predict in september with an october release date and then a poster that's probably when we'll find out the official cast the youtube channel will start to upload things and then once the movie's out it'll just be out they're gonna have like a very mild campaign if any they're not going to have any major hype around this film they're just not going to i don't see that happening 
considering how things are being handled. Now, maybe the fact that we haven't heard anything means they have big plans in store for this film. And maybe there is some hope that this franchise, this IP, will be one of the more notable things to come from Screen Media if they are able to get a Jeepers Creepers 4 off the ground successfully and then give us Jeepers Creepers 5, Jeepers Creepers 6, and this new 23-day feeding cycle we're all assuming is set 23 years picking up after where the second film in 23 years later. So the whole could it still come out this year? Will it get delayed? I don't think it'll get delayed. I just think Timo is just that out of the loop. <laughs> He couldn't even disclose if it was still coming out because apparently the producers are the ones who know it best. He's just uncertain that it's coming out this fall because I guess it's been that long since not just us, but since he has heard anything concrete about what is going on with this film. So he has his doubts about it still coming out this fall. I will argue, though, that I believe that it still will come out this fall. Now, if it doesn't still come out this fall, I don't really care. <laughs> I honestly don't care because the way things have been handled since the official announcement back in february i don't care one way or another at this point i know we're going to get it at some point i'm just now more focused on learning who is in the cast the other thing that officially in the cast because i've been i've been breaking cast members left and right on this channel but officially from them the other thing i want to talk about was jonathan breck jonathan breck is supposed to be at the texas frightmare frightmare convention later this year and he's going to have some type of uh of course, panel for himself where fans can interact with him. He has his credits listed. Jeepers Creepers 1 through 3. That stuck out to me. They didn't have Jeepers Creepers Reborn listed as one of his credits. This is going to take place in like September or something. That might be telling more evidence that he's not in the film. But it also could be that, again, everything's being hush-hush. Maybe they just don't want him credited yet with no one else being given credit. So, who knows? But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think the film will still come out later this year since we haven't gotten much? Or do you think that it'll get pushed to 2022? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.